one of the things um, I like to do with something like this, this kind of recipe, is it goes all in the food processor. And whenever I'm using streusel, I always like to do, so we've got our brownie mix, here's our um, oats. I like to use cold butter rather than melted butter. And it all has to do with the end result. If you have to make crumbs or you have to make something that you have to put in a 9 by 13 pan that has a crumb topping and they say, or not necessarily a crumb topping, but a, a topping that's this kind of mixture with oats and all that, and they tell you to use softened butter, to me you get a gloppy mess and it's really hard to get in here. So what I like to do is start out with cold butter it chops it in, um, in your food processor, chops it in with, you know, a cake mix or the oats or flour and butter or flour and sugar or whatever your kind of mixture you have in here, using the cold butter will make it into little fine grains and much easier to spread evenly in a pan and then have a nice crumb topping. So that's what we're going to do. This um, food processor is a little bit on the small side, so it was kind of touch and go when I was doing this earlier today. But I just took this butter out of the refrigerator. I think I, what I did was I started it. I started it and then dropped the butter in. take half of this. So we got to prepare a pan. And with this um, brownie recipe, it's really easy to get it out of the pan if you use a piece of foil. Okay. Made a wonderful mess there. Now I put this whole thing in, and then I took out half. I thought this would be easier to see. Okay, and you can see most of this is just crumbs, and you can just, a little bit more out there, kind of spread it out, get it even and then just press it down. And to me, that's the easiest way to do a crust like this. And I do this with all, any recipe that tells me to melt the butter or to um, soften the butter, you don't have such a mess. And then you still have the crumbs that you need if you want to scrunch it together so you don't have the crumbs and just have one big blob, you can do that. All right, that's our crust. Now, because that works with butter, it does, it's not the same with cream cheese. So we did soften the cream cheese. All right, and to our cream cheese, we're going to put um, a half a cup of the strawberry jam. And as you see in the recipe, I do have it divided. It says divided. To um, one half a cup we're going to put in with the cream cheese and the other uh, three-fourths of a cup goes on top of this. Okay. So that goes. This goes. What? No, I took them out. <laughs> That's what I spent the afternoon doing. Okay. I'll mix that up a little bit. We're going to add two eggs to this, and when we add the eggs in, 
we're doing sort of a, a cheesecake type thing, so you don't want to really, really beat the eggs. We want to just get them incorporated into this. Let me scrape the sides down here. This looks really good. It's really good. I've got everything all, the cream cheese all softened. And when I open the jar of jam, you know how you get those great big things of strawberries, which is wonderful on toast, but not so wonderful in something like this. So you want to take your knife, stir it up and break it all up a little bit. Okay. And we're going to let that, I'm going to live dangerously. Crack these in here. One. So we don't want to overbeat it once we put the eggs in. Scrape down the sides a little bit. And anything that we don't feel is incorporated, we're going to stir by hand. Now we're just going to stir that up a little bit. All right, now we're going to pour that on top of this. Looks great. Then we're starting with this, we can get this in the oven. Okay. Then we're going to drop our strawberry jam. That's good. I like to mix it up a little bit. And we're just going to kind of drop it by these little things. Can you see? Okay. And it doesn't have to be exact. And this is one, you know, when we talk about adding things to it or you don't really want to put any more filling than what it calls for. Otherwise, it doesn't hold together nice. Okay, then we're going to put our crumbs on top. I just like to press it down just a little bit. So it's kind of all attaching to something. Okay. And we're going to get that in the oven. Okay. And we'll time that for, we'll try 30 minutes. Okay. Doodles. And here is our strawberry. And you can see when we jiggle it, because it was, it, it's just jiggling a little bit, but not, you know, which is perfect. I won't be able to cut those yet, but you can see I cut them in little small pieces because I always feel like when you cut them smaller, then you can eat two. You know, if you cut them like great big ones, you wouldn't feel like you could take like two or three on your plate, but if you cut them small like this, you know, and you go somewhere then.